Katherine Keltner interviewing Barbara Rose at her home in Rhinebeck on August 6, 2020. Barbara, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed, sharing your first-hand history. Well, we've been trying to do this for years, I Catherine. I know. I'm <laughs> so happy this is happening. You've been on the front lines of art um, for a lot of decades, and this is a valuable record for not just me, but current artists, future artists, historians, cultural I think it's critics. Important. I think it's important it because really you important. have to have uh, mentors to look up to. Yes. I was very fortunate uh, because outside of the letters to McDonald, uh, the person who influenced me the most in my life was my teacher, my Archer Paul. There's, um, I'm not going to say a rewriting, but there's an addition to history going on. Is there a some extent, yes. I mean, there are a lot more women and there are a lot more black artists who are being included in. Yes, that's but true. But I think that this needs to happen in art history, and this is part. This is part of what makes me want your history. Let's talk about ABC art. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was strictly uh, to sell my friends' uh, art because people kept saying, "Well, why did you write that?" That's okay. Say that's that's I wanted art. somebody to buy their art. So these were the people I saw every day, and right. I thought about, and we had our conversations, and this was the world I lived in. But there were, there were some real historical chops behind that. I mean, you traced this burgeoning movement to... It wasn't a movement. That's what's so funny. I mean, Eric okay, says, well, you invented minimal art. No, I really didn't. I just hung around with these people who had a specific aesthetic, and they were reacting against the expressionism of abstract expression. You rooted their reaction. I guess. I didn't, that was not my intention. Or, was, no, my intention was to help them sell their work. 